Well, praise the Lord, beloved of God. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Bless the Lord. Amen. Be excited for what God is doing, and we know that God is on the throne. Therefore, we will be anxious of nothing. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we set our face as a flint on the Lord. We seek here first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. Bless the Lord. Amen. So we're just going to wait for people to, to come on and um, log on. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then uh, we'll begin the lesson. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, family of God. God bless you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just give me a few minutes as I share the broadcast as well on my side. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Greetings, family of God in Jesus' name. Greetings, greetings. Good evening to you, Sister Saibel. God bless you. Glad to have you on. Thank you for the greetings. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Please feel free to share this broadcast. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We bless you. We honor you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 We're just going to give a little time more for people to come on. Bless the Lord. Amen. Please give your greetings if you're online. Amen. I would appreciate that so that I can greet you. Amen. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Father. Good evening, Sister Geraldine. God bless you. God bless you. Good to have you on. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your presence, Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that we submit to you. We thank you, God, that you have your way. Pray, Holy Spirit, that you will take complete control over this broadcast. As I submit to God's authority and I yield my total being to you, Holy Spirit, speak to me and through me and out of me to your people. We submit to you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we give you honor. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name thank you father thank you father amen thank you for the greetings Kerry God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you thank you mother Anderson God bless you thank you for the greetings God bless you amen all right. God bless you, Prophet Ebony, all the way, Ebony, all the way from USA. Good to have you with us. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Well, let's go straight into the Word of God. Uh, 
Rosalind, God bless you, daughter. Good to have you on. God bless you. Um, let's go straight into the word of God. Family of God, it's very important that your purpose must be intentional. Let's talk about that in this in this les in this lesson in this broadcast. Uh, your purpose must be intentional. Your purpose must be intentional. Praise the Lord. Amen. So that simply means that your purpose, everything that you do, must be done on purpose. Everything that you do for God must be done on purpose, right? Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. So you have to be, your purpose must be intentional. Um, this is very important. All right. Let's look at the word of God. Proverbs 19 verse 21. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. Those who are in the comment section with me, thank you in advance for your help. And your cooperation and please feel free to share this broadcast uh, i would really appreciate it proverbs 19 verse 21 says many plans are in a man's mind but it's the lord's purpose for him that will stand okay many plans are in a man's mind but it is the lord's purpose for him that will stand many are the plans of a man's heart uh, a man's heart, a man's mind, but it's the purpose of God that shall prevail. Okay, so it's very important that you have to make sure that, um, good evening, good evening to all of you. God bless you, family. Thank you, thank you. Amen. Good to see you, Minister Shomain. God bless you. Good evening to you. All right, so it's very important that you have to make sure that your plans line up with God's purpose. Are you understanding? Good evening, Tamlin. Matthew, God bless you. Um, uh, I think it's all the way from Namibia, if I'm mistaken. I apologize in advance, but I I'm glad to have you with us. God bless you. Um, Proverbs 19, verse 21. Many are the plans of a man's heart, a man's mind, but it's the purpose of God that will prevail. So we have to make sure, people of God, that our plans line up with God's purpose. This is very important. Now we see according to scripture in we see according to scripture in Proverbs 19 verse 21 that it's God's purpose that shall prevail above our plans. This is very important, people of God. So your plans must line up with God's perfect will. All right. Amen. This is so important, people of God. Praise the Lord. Okay, so let's look at purpose. Purpose simply means your reason for being, B-E-I-N-G, and your reason for doing. Now, you must understand, people of God, that it was purpose that brought you into existence in the earth. It had nothing to do with mummy or daddy. It was all part of God's plan. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it was purpose that brought you into existence. So that means that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And God has an assignment on your life. Praise the Lord. So purpose simply means your reason for being or doing. So you must understand and you need to discover what does the word purpose mean? Number one. Number two, you must understand what is your purpose. You must discover what is your purpose. Um, if you live life thinking going to work and, and, and going to school and, and, and getting a promotion and, and all these things you and, 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 and you, you die and you have money and a house that you leave behind. Okay, you think that's purpose. No, it's not purpose. It's not purpose. It's not purpose. Listen to me. It's not purpose. Okay, so if you live your life pertaining to all these things on the external factor, 
and you don't know the reason why you were born, the reason why you exist, then you have lived an unfulfilled life. Right now, if you don't know the reason why you were born, if you don't know the reason why you are existing now, let me tell you that you are currently living an unfulfilled life. This is very important. This is very important, people of God. All right. And so it's, it's, it's important that we understand the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 2. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 2. And the Bible says vapor of vapor, vapors and futility of futilities says the preacher. Vapor of vapors and futility of futilities. All is vanity. Now watch this. When you live a life not knowing why you are born, why you exist, you don't know your purpose, then you are living a life of uh, that is unfulfilled and that it is vanity. The word vanity means emptiness. You are empty. When you don't know the reason why you exist and why you are born, you are empty. There's many people today that are operating in the fivefold ministry. There's people today that have money, have the house, have the car, they have all these wonderful things, and yet they are empty inside. They are crying out for help. They are crying out for desperation because nothing in this world is able to satisfy the spiritual hunger. You cannot use anything of the natural to satisfy that which is spiritual. Mm, come on, somebody. This this is very important, right? Praise God. And so you need to understand and discover what is your purpose all right praise god and so it's very important that you have to yield your total being to the holy spirit and be open to meditation to the word of god daily so that the holy spirit can refresh your soul can revive your soul and can restore your soul this is important for you to be in habitation in intimacy with the father so that the father can reveal to you what is your purpose you saying you say an apostle i've gone through many things and i'm currently going through things right now i can't find myself i can't seem to understand what is going on i can't seem to understand why i was born the way i was born or what's or what uh, uh, out of what circumstances or situation that i was born out of let me make this clear to you, people of God. We must, we must prepare ourselves to fulfill God's purpose in the earth. Not mommy's purpose, not daddy's purpose, not people's purpose, but God's purpose. You have to be intentional about your purpose. Your purpose must be intentional. Come on, somebody. This is very important. I want you to understand that there is no accidental but you saying I've gone through things and I've been born out of wedlock or I've been born where mommy or daddy or somebody might have said that you should have been the opposite sex or maybe you should not have been being born or maybe that you are unplanned. I'm here to tell you people of God, I'm here to release God's truth into your heart, your mind and your spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God to set you free tonight by the power of the Holy Spirit that my God, there is no an accidental birth. There is no, un, uh, listen, no accidental birth. An untimely birth for us can be a very timely birth for God because God gives life. You are alive for such a time as this. You are born for such a time as this. You are unique. You are valuable. You are special. You are chosen by God. You are significant. You are set apart for such a time as this. Come on. God has anointed you, appointed you, and chosen you for such a time as this. God calls the unqualified. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But he does not keep you in a place of where you're unqualified. <laughs> Oh, mighty God. Hallelujah. And so that means people of God, God knows who is needed in this time to fulfill purpose. Come on. You got to tell yourself it is time for me to be intentional about God's purpose for my life.
There's no more time to procrastinate. There's no more time for procrastination. It is time to be about the Father's business. It is a kingdom mandate. It is a kingdom assignment, people of God, that you are not just here to fill the earth uh, 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 or to be a, or to fill a space in the earth, you are here, planned and purposed by God. God has brought you in existence on this earth. Praise God on purpose, for purpose. You are not a mistake. You are not a mistake. You are not the black sheep of your family. You are not an accident, but you are unique. You are valuable. You are special. You are precious. You are who God says you are. And you can do what God says you can do. And you can have what God says you can have. And you can go where God says you can go. You've got to prophetically decree this over you now and say, I am kingdom intentional in other words i am going to do everything in my life diligently willingly and obediently unto god that i am going to fill my god ordained purpose it is about it's about the kingdom of god it's not about a kingdom i'm not talking about your church denomination i'm talking about the kingdom of god that resides on the inside of you you have a mandate you have a purpose you have an assignment that you have to fulfill in this earth stop allowing people to hold you back and to limit you and hold you in bondage and suppress you and oppress you and hold you down hallelujah you have a purpose come on you have an assignment you have a mandate this is not time for you to sit and warm the chairs and be comfortable sitting in the chair that you love to sit in when you go into church all the time and think that that's got to de be a, that's got to uh, 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 be a part of purpose. Uh, going to church has nothing to do with purpose. Come on. Listen to me. Having having the title has nothing to do with purpose. Having the occupation has nothing to do with purpose. Purpose, you must understand what was your reason for being born. What was your reason for being? And this is why it's very important that many people have to be reintroduced to themselves because they've lost themselves along the way. You have to go on a self-discovery journey to find yourself in Christ, to find yourself. Are you understanding this, people of God? And so let me tell you, it's time for you to come out of your religious systems. Come out of your churchified systems. Come out of your churchifiedness. And it's time for you to come up higher. It is time for you to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things shall be added unto you. This is a time for you to be God pleasers and not man pleasers. This is a time for you to hear and obey God. This is not a time for you to walk in delayed obedience. This is not a time for you to walk in delayed obedience. God is calling you to walk in prompt obedience because God has great things in store for you. God wants to rewrite your name. God wants to rewrite your life. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. My God, hallelujah, glory to God. It is God that's that's going to do the work in you and through you and out of you by the power of the Holy Spirit as you partner with the Holy Spirit and you yield to the Holy Spirit and you submit to the authority of God. God will do great things inside of you. I believe Believe that God is preparing you. God is preparing you for the best time of your life. There's going to be a greater comeback for you. I hear the angel of the Lord saying, There is going to be a great come back for you. Those that have been gone through a process of where you felt that you might be set back. But I'm here to tell you there is a greater comeback like never before in your life. My God, they thought you were down and out. You, But you are in a place of silence. You are in the place of habitation. You are in the place of seeking the face of God. You are in the place of receiving strategy from the Lord. You are in the place of hearing what God is saying. And I'm saying to you today, there's going to be a great to come back for your life. God is going to bring you right from the back right to the front. God is going to promote you. God is going to elevate you. God is going to lift you up. God is going to do great things in your life that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man what God has in store for you. God is going to make provision. I'm here to challenge you tonight for you not to settle for less. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for 
average. Don't settle. Listen to me. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for average. God has greater things in store for you. I'm here to tell you that your best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. May God divinely connect you with destiny helpers that will be able to work with you to advance and expand the kingdom of God. May God align you with the with with kingdom midwives that are led by the spirit, governed by the spirit that has a faith-like mindset. My God, that will be able to help you, to help you to give birth to purpose and destiny. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For this affliction is just but for a moment, which cannot be compared to the glory of God that shall be revealed inside of you. I decree and I declare that you are walking into a season of uncommon favor unprecedented favor, ridiculous favor, favor that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, nor has it entered in to the heart of man. My God, what the favor that God is releasing upon the obediently righteous. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is opening doors that no man can shut in your life. This is a time and a season for you to walk with your head held high. You walk, you walk by faith. You walk by faith and not by sight. Come on, somebody. This is your season. This is your season. You're going to have the greatest comeback in the name of Jesus, my God. Oh, Because greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. You are being set up for a great comeback. You are being set up for a great comeback. Come back, my God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's a people that awaits you. There is a place that awaits you. There is cities that await you. There is destinations that await you. There is continents that await you. There's nations that await you. My God, there is a people that awaits you. Listen to me, people of God. It is time for you to come out from your sleep. Come out from your slumber. Arise, arise. This is time for you to awake from your sleep and your slumber and arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. You stand in the strength and the power of God. You stand in the confidence and the boldness of God as you hear and obey God and you do exactly what God tells you to do and you say exactly what he tells you to say. This is not a time for you to walk with your head down and, 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 and complain and murmur and cuss and fight and, and speak negative. Stop in Investing your time in negativity. Shut every door open to negativity now. Guard the gates of your life. Don't allow any access to any negative reports, negative comments, negative statements, negative words. I'm here to challenge you to arise to the occasion. There is an invitation that has been made available for you and I to come and dine with the Father. There is a reservation table with your name on it. And he says that he shall make your enemies become your footstool. He says, I'm calling you to the invitation. The banquet has been set. The table has been set. The Father has made it available for you. And everything that God has in store for you through his son, Jesus Christ, is rightfully yours because we are co heirs with Christ. My God. Mm -mm. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. This is not a time for you to walk in lack and poverty. Poverty is not of God. You're not a beggar. You're not a borrower. You are a kingdom citizen. You are a kingdom ambassador. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are born to live a blessed life, a life full of abundance and favor and grace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lift up your head. Mm. Come on, lift up your head. Look unto Jesus, who is the author and the finish of your faith. Things are beginning to turn around right now. Things are beginning to work in your favor. The enemy tried to take you out. My The enemy tried to take you out. But God's hand has always been upon you. And it is upon you, my God. Mm -mm -mm. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord says that he shall deliver them out of all their afflictions. My God. 
God, the enemy tried, hell tried, demons tried, devils tried, witches tried, wizards tried, warlocks tried, my God. God, I never shy. But God's hand has been upon you because you are favored of the Lord. My God, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. God says to the obediently righteous, you have been seeking my face and you're going to see the hand of God. Be outstretched upon your life in the name of Jesus and you're going to see a supernatural divine intervention in your life. In the name of Jesus, Manduro Brosha Katala Mandele Breka Mandrusa Ye Lebra Sokoto Rabrashi Katala Mandele Mendele Brosha Kata. I hear the angel of the Lord saying, This is your season of overtake. Get ready to overtake. Get ready to overtake as you yield to the Holy Spirit and you submit to God's authority and you stand firm on the foundation of Jesus Christ and you stand on the promises of God. God, because God is not slack concerning his, his promises towards you. He's not a man that he should lie. God cannot lie. God watches over his word to perform it. This is your season to overtake. You're going to overtake. You're going to overtake opposition. You're going to overtake rejection. You're going to overtake pain. You're going to overtake opposition. My God, who am I talking to? You're going to overtake the, uh, the, the, the Paninas. You're going to overtake, uh, my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. You're going to overtake. You're going to overtake. This is your season. This is your now moment, your God moment of overtaking in Jesus' name. You're going to overtake in Jesus' name. All those that thought that you could not do it, you could not make it, family members and, and, and friends that thought of you as nothing and undermined you and ridiculed you and pushed you aside, the Lord says, I have chosen you. I have chosen you for such a time as this. And the Lord says what the enemy meant for evil for you. God intended it for your good. I believe that God is turning things around. This is your season to overtake. I say to the righteous, I say to the obediently righteous that are willing to yield to God and his word and and trust God and stay focused on God and stay in God. You, God is going to catapult you. God is going to, God is going to accelerate you. God is going to promote you that you are going to overtake in this season. You're going to overtake all opposition that is trying to come against you, to hold you back, to, to resist you to hold you back my god but god says i'm taking the hand of the enemy off your life lebo shakatala mande god is taking the hand of the enemy off your life every witches wizards warlocks demons demonic spirits right now they melebo shakata god is lifting their hands off you off your family your finances in jesus name your marriage your job your children your home your family your ministry mandoro bro shakatala mande lebre because you belong to god touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. God is going to move supernaturally on your behalf. You're going to see my God a, a mighty move of God. You, your life is a testimony. God is getting you ready and preparing you, your life to be a testimony. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of your testimony. You are a testimony. Get ready for a big hallelujah, a great hallelujah, a big shout of praise that God is going to blow your mind. God is getting ready to blow some people's minds. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. He's going to do that for you, to those that are seeking the Lord, to those that are seeking God's face, to those that are seeking ye first the kingdom, not the problem, not the situation, not the circumstances, not the issues, not the concerns, not people, not validation, not approval from people, but looking unto Jesus, who is is the author and the finisher of your faith. I challenge you to set your face as a flint on the Lord. I challenge you to set, to set your mind on things above and not on things on earth, on earthly or things that surrounds you. The enemy is trying his utmost best to wear you out. The enemy is trying his utmost best to wear the saints out. But I hear the Lord saying to you and I tonight, do not grow weary in 
and well doing for in due season you shall reap a harvest if you faint not I'm here to tell someone tonight don't faint don't give up don't throw in the towel don't settle for less don't settle for average come on come on arise to the occasion and set your mind on things above and think the thoughts of God and speak the word of God speak the blessings of God speak the favor of God speak amen the promises of God decree and declare life and know that God is with you God is for you and God is not against you in Jesus name amen thank you Lord all right, let's get back to this. I just had to release the word of the Lord. Um, the prophetic word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. All right. So we got to understand. You got to know what is your purpose. Now, you've got to discover what does the word purpose mean and what is your purpose with the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Your purpose um, has nothing to do with the call. Your purpose has nothing to do with the title or the occupation. Are you understanding this? All right. So we said purpose is your reason for being or doing. All right. Okay. Let's look at John 18.37. Somebody put that up for me in the comment section, please. John 18.37. John 18, 37. Praise the Lord. And the word of God says, Pilate said to him, this is Pilate speaking to Jesus. Pilate said to him, Then you are a king. Jesus answered, You say it. You speak correctly. For I am a king. Certainly I am a king. This is why I was born. This is what, these are the words of Jesus. Jesus says, this is why I was born. Listen to me. You've got to know why you were born. Don't focus on how you were born. Maybe you were given up for adoption. Maybe you maybe you were born out of wedlock or maybe you were born out of obscurity. Uh, uh, maybe it was unplanned. Maybe it was accident. I don't know. But I want you to focus on not how you were born, but why you were born. Because many people will say, I wish I was not born. Don't ever think like that. Don't ever speak those negative words. Those are the lies of the devil. God has a plan and a purpose for your life, all right? So you've got to know why you were born. Jesus says, this is why I was born. All right? So you've got to know why you were born. You've got to know why do you exist. Are you understanding this? Why you exist. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. For this, for this, I have come into the world. For this cause, I've come into the world. Now, it's really important. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to help you with some, some truth here. All right. So let's, let's go back to 37, right? He says, this is why I was born. Purpose. Right. So you've got to discover your purpose, right? The reason why you were born, the reason why you exist. Please take down notes. Please, this is so important. This is going to help you. Number two, in the same passage of scripture, it's all going to tie together. Listen to this. Um, for this cause I have come into the world. Okay, for this I have come into the world. Now watch this. For this I have come into the world is, 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 is opening the door to make us understand what was the cause of Jesus. What was the for this cause? So number two, um, as you, you got to know what is your for this cause. Somebody put that up for me, please. You've got to know what is your for this cause. Are you understanding this? 
C-A-U-S-E. All right? You've got to know what is your purpose, why you were born, why do you exist. You've got to know what is purpose. And then number two, you've got to know what is your for this cause. Somebody please put that up for me. This is very important truth. All right. So we see now Jesus says, I have come into the world. Right. Now let's see what was Jesus's for this cause. He says, for this reason, I have come into the world. He says to do what? To bear witness to the truth. Jesus's for this cause was to do what? To bear witness to the truth. Listen to me. This is why I said it has nothing to do with your occupation and your title. Okay, all right. He says to do what? To bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth, who is a friend of the truth, who belongs to the truth, hears and listens to my voice. Now, it's very important to understand this people of God. It is not the core. It is not the call of God upon your life that fulfills your purpose. Wow. Let that just settle in for a second. Because we thought it was that. Because many people focus on the call and they neglect purpose. And, and they neglect what is there for this cause. So, it is not your call that fulfills your purpose. Because the call can change. <laughs> the call can change. But it is your cause that is your purpose. Jesus for this cause was to do what? To bear witness to the truth. That was his for this cause. And his cause, that was his purpose. Mm. Wow. Wow. So. Jesus' cause, it was to effect what he did. When you understand you're for this cause, you will be effective. Somebody put that on, up for me, please. When you understand you're for this cause, you will be effective amen we got to be effective in this world we got to be effective in our schools we got to be effective in our nations we got to be effective in our community we got to be effective praise the lord we have to be effective people of god and we have to be intentional about being effective Amen. Are you understanding this, people of God? All right. If this is helping you, please type on the comment section. Um, this is helping me. Amen. I would appreciate that. If this is helping you, please type in the comment section. This is helping me. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so when you understand your for this cause, your purpose, you will be effective. This is very important. Amen. Amen. Thank you for those that are putting up the comment section. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. So it's very important, family of God, to have balance in your life. Okay? Balance is key in your life. Somebody put that up for me, please. Balance is key in your life. Now, I want, I'm going to come back to this, but I want to go to a scripture. Um, we, um, we read Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 2, but I want to just jump quickly to um, Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 2. Good evening, everyone. Once again, God bless you. Thank you for being on this broadcast. It is, it's, 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 this, this is part of my for this cause. Amen. Praise God. Is to bring wholeness to people. But in order for, for me to bring wholeness to people, I had to be made whole again. This is my for this cause. All right. Amen. So you got to know what is your for this cause, right? Okay. Let's look at Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 3. Somebody put that up for me, please. Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 3 and the word of God says if a man begets a hundred children and lives many years so that the days of his years are many but his life is not fulfilled or not filled with good and also he has given no burial I say that he who had an untimely birth resulting in death is better off than he. Wow. Wow. What is the Lord saying to us here? Very simple. It is a tragedy for a person to be born from a womb. This lesson is going to heal those who have scars, who are broken within them, who felt rejected and abandoned. I pray that the entrance of the truth of this word will bring healing, inner healing and deliverance and to set you free in Jesus' name. For you to rise up, for you to rise up and lift up your head and know that God is with you, is for you, and he's not against you. And he will not allow you to be put to shame. And he will not disappoint you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. God has a greater plan and a purpose for your life. You are being launched. You are being prepared to be launched into greater. A greater comeback. A greater comeback. All right. It is a tragedy for a person to be born from a womb then to live on earth and spend years on earth and dies never knowing why he came. You can have all the accomplishments in the world. You can fight with people all you want to. But let me tell you, people spend their time fighting with who left them, who did this and who didn't do this for them. We're focusing. That's all distractions. Yes, I know what you went through is painful. It's a reality. I get it. I, I get it. I get it. We all have been through things. I've been through things. And if I set up camp in the midst of my valley and I, and I, and I complained and, and, I, and I threw a self-pity party that nobody loves me, nobody cares about me, I would not be where I am today. Listen to me. Your valleys are not meant for you to take a pillow in a bed and lie down and sleep and complain and cuss and fight. But your valleys are meant for you to go through. I believe that out of the ashes, beauty will arise. Your pain is part of your process. Your pain becomes somebody else's gain. I'm speaking reality, life truth to you. The pain that I endured is now has become other people's gain that I'm able to stand in the gap and empower and speak to people God's truth to help people to see people healed, delivered and set free and be made whole again. 
to discover their purpose and reach their potential and reach their destiny and do great things for God and make a distinct mark in this earth for Jesus. Okay. Family of God. You can have all the accomplishments in the world. But if you don't know the reason why you came, the reason why you are born, the reason why you exist, the scripture is telling us a stillborn baby is better off than that man who lived his entire life and did not know why he came. Come on, people. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I pray that this truth is unfolding in your spirit right now and that the eyes of your understanding, the eyes of your understanding is being enlightened with this present truth of God's word. Are you understanding this? So it's important people of God that you must discover your personal reason for being born. If you don't, if you don't, your life will be unfulfilled. We read that in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 2. If you don't, your life will be unfulfilled. You will keep trying things. That's why people are living an unfulfilled life is it, it, because you can see when people are just trying things, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try this. And that's why you have a group of people who will say, try this, try that, try this, try that. No. That's when that person is living an unfulfilled life. And even those people that are encouraging you to do that, they are living an unfulfilled life. Stop allowing the blind to lead you. Stop taking counsel from people that are walking and living in disobedience. Are you understanding this, people of God? This is so important. Seek the counsel of God. Take heed to the counsel of God. Because the counsel of God shall stand. Okay. All right. Dr. Miles Monroe said it so profoundly. The greatest tragedy is life without purpose. Is life without purpose. You got to know why you are alive. Mm -hmm. And let me tell someone right now. The enemy tried to take you out while you were even in your mother's home. Mm. My God. The enemy tried to take some of you out while you were existing in the earth. Many times, many times, even use family, even use friends to try and take you out. But listen to what the Lord is saying. Listen to what the Lord is saying. You are alive for such a time as this because you are unique and you have a mark to make in this earth for Jesus to turn this world, your world, inside out for Jesus. Hallelujah. People will fail you. People will disappoint you. But God will never fail you. God will never disappoint you. I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to encourage you. Stop trying things and start and, and make a decisive decision to go before God, to accept Jesus into your life, to make Jesus your Lord and your personal Savior and to allow the Holy Spirit to fill every void in your life for you to be made whole again so that you can embrace your singleness. You can be true to yourself and stop being dependent on people. Okay, okay. Jesus, for this cause, was to present truth. He amplified the reason that he will display the truth, that people will get to know the truth. Jesus had a cause to fulfill 
and he accomplished it. Can I tell you this mystery? You have a cause to fulfill. Somebody put that up for me, please. You have a cause, C-A-U-S-E. You have a cause to fulfill. Now, let me tell you what is cause. What is the meaning of cause, C-A-U-S-E? It simply means what is the reason or motive that brings about a change? You got to find out what is the reason and the mo or the motive that God has given to you to bring about change. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah. Now, in order for you to bring change, you've got to change. You've got to allow yourself to change. And I'm talking about an inward change. Yield your total being to, the, to God to allow him to change you from the inside out. Okay, so that you can become an agent of change. You are an agent of change. Are you understanding this? All right. Cause is the reason or motive that brings about a change. It is aimed at a particular injustice and you become very passionate in doing something about it. In other words, to correct that thing, to correct the wrong thing. God is raising up a generation that stands who willingly and obediently stands for truth, righteousness, justice, fairness. It is time for us to stop compromising the uh, stop compromising the word of God. It is time for us not to be conformed to the patterns, the tradition, the culture of this world and the church system, religious systems, cultural systems. We have to be conformed into the image of God. All right. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is very important. So we are assigned to correct the wrong things. Listen to me. You stand up for truth and righteousness. Are you understanding this and fairness? And even when you stand up for truth, righteousness and fairness, people who hate truth will come against you. You remain steadfast, immovable, unshakable, always abounding in the grace of God. And you be still and know that he is God and God will fight your battles and God will vindicate you and God will bring you out of the pit and elevate you to the palace. My God, because truth always prevails. Mm, 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 mm. You stand in righteousness. You stand for righteousness. You live a righteous life every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It also becomes your area of authority where you produce results when you recognize this. It's what God placed in your heart. And let me tell you, family of God, there is going to be a certain amount of suffering for righteousness sake that you are going to experience when you are discovering and fulfilling your purpose and your for this cause. There is things that you're going to encounter. There is a price that you're going to pay to be crushed like the olive, uh, 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 like the olive, praise God. There is a crushing process that you go through. There is a sifting process that you go through. There is a baking process that you go through before the oil is poured upon you and hands are laid upon you and you are released or sent out. There is a process that you have to 
to go through let me say this and i'm gonna release myself on the platform now there is a process that you have to go through listen to me there's no quick fix in the kingdom of god there is a process and many times people don't want to go through the process they want to be quick fixed there's many people that are operating uh, in ministry uh, 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 um, uh, uh, um mantles or, 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 or calls but yet they're not qualified to be there some have been self-appointed man appointed and god is getting ready to expose listen to me this is a season of a season of exposure now now this is very important that's why the word of god says don't be hastily to to lay hands on people and and place them or set them into offices they must be willing to go through the process and we see that with the disciples they went through a period of a a a a, a a clinical period with Jesus where they were trained, they were mentored. Hallelujah. Praise God. There is no quick fix in the kingdom of God. Are you understanding this? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay. You cannot buy the call of God. You cannot Listen, people today can buy certificates, can pay someone to lay hands on them on a day name. That is not God's order. God is going to deal with you. Listen to me. God is going to deal with you. He's a God of love, but he's a God of mercy, but he's also a God of justice. He's a God of judgment. Are you understanding this? We got to come to this place where we got to walk in the fear of the Lord, people of God, because the church is in a mess. We cannot be doing our own things, being in offices, and we doing our own things, and we living our own lives and living double standard lives and come on people of God my God my God come on come on come on come on we got to be living holy lives sanctified lives we got to be living a life that is pleasing unto God stop hurting people and, 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 and destroying people and messing up people's homes and families come on people of God my God even with relationships and marriages my God my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Come on. The fear of the Lord has to come back into the house, people of God. We cannot be living double standard lives. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot, we cannot. The Bible says, touch not the unclean thing. My God, touch not the unholy thing. We are called to put a difference. Be my God, listen, we are called to put a difference between what is clean and unclean, what is holy and what is unholy, to put a difference between the profane people of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop focusing on your traditions because Jesus says your traditions have made the word of God of no effect. This is the time for us to 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 return back to God, to reconcile back to God, and do things God's ways, do things with God, do things for God. Stop appeasing and satisfying and gratifying your flesh. Are you listening, people? People. Be married to one wife. Be married to one husband. Love them. Pray for them. Amen. Don't be all over the show. Young people, if you're not married, pray that God will send you the right person. But get yourself healed. Get yourself whole again. Embrace your singleness. Because listen, when you remain a nobody and you don't discover yourself, you don't discover your purpose, and you remain a nobody, and, and you meet somebody that is also a nobody, that relationship becomes a nobody relationship or a nobody marriage. My God. Okay. All right. Help me. Help me with this, Lord. And so this is why now you have to try and be a counselor and a psychologist and a therapist to your partner when God has not ordained you to be that for your partner. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope this is helping somebody. All right. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Okay. So this is why it's important that you wait on the Lord. And that you wait in God. And that you embrace your singleness. You embrace yourself. You be true to yourself. You discover yourself. You return to your true self that is created in the image of Christ. Are you understanding this people of God? And let Holy Spirit fill every void in your life. It, God wants his people to be made whole again. Praise the Lord. Amen. I did a teaching series, 11 part teaching series on wholeness. If you have not watched that, please get onto my page and watch it. It's on my YouTube page. It's on my Facebook page. 11 part series teaching on wholeness. Jesus wants us to be made whole again. All right. I'm going to say this last thing and I'm going to release myself from this 
platform um, people of God. All right. So it's very important that um, you must know your reason for being born. What is your for this cause? What is your purpose? Who are you as a person? Um, Jesus had to fulfill his cause. You and I have to discover our purpose and fulfill our cause and reach our destiny. Let me also say this to you, people of God, that you may die for your cause. Listen to me. This might even cost you your life. You got to come to this place that you got to be unashamed, unashamed, unashamed to represent Jesus and, and, and to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. This might even cost you your life life are you understanding this people of god there's places you go to cities you go to nations you go to people you go to uh, uh this might even cost you your life are you understanding this people of god so you got to come to this place and say for god i live for god i die for i am not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ for it is power unto salvation all right people of god so you have to humble yourself in the sight of the lord Die to self daily, crucify the flesh, bring your flesh under the subjection of the Holy Spirit and yield your total being in surrender to the Spirit of God and allow God to lead, guide, govern and direct you in every area of your life and you are going to see the hand of the Lord manifest in your life. family of God, we can have many plans in our hearts, but according to Proverbs 19 verse 21, God's purpose supersedes our plans. Somebody put that up for me, please. God's purpose supersedes our plans. Okay, please stay, please stay connect, connect, connected to what God is releasing here. All right? Somebody put this up for me, please. God is speaking to you and I. Amen. Praise God. God's purpose supersedes our plans. Somebody put that up for me, please. God's purpose supersedes our plans. Thank you for that. Praise the Lord. Amen. question I leave with you family of God what God has planned who can change it nobody can change what God has planned and ordained for your life people of God so you rest in him now you rest in him and know that no demon no devil no witches no wizards no warlocks no evil spirits, are you listening to me, can try to alter God's plans for your life. You rest in the truth of God's word. In Jesus' name, amen. So you must be intentional about your purpose. Do everything for purpose, on purpose, by purpose for God. And that you live a life that is pleasing unto the Father. Be a God pleaser and not a man pleaser. Yeah, and obey God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I said it previously before. God is getting ready. God is preparing you. For you to have the greatest comeback in your life. I believe it and I release the word of the Lord upon you now. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, bless you, family. Love you all so much. If you were blessed, type in I'm blessed. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Please share this broadcast now. Please share this broadcast. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. So all you got to just do, family of God, is stay focused on the Lord. Allow the Holy Spirit to search your heart. Remove wickedness 
unforgiveness, hatred, bitterness, resentment out of your heart. The Bible says leave your gifts at the altar and go and make right with your brother and come back. We've got to get ourselves right. We've got to walk in the ways of the Lord true before God. Lord, creating me a clean heart, renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Allow God to work with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Shirley, I hear, I hear the end of the Lord saying to you, be steadfast, be immovable, be unshakable where you are. The enemy is trying to uh, bring much attacks towards you right now. Um, but the Lord is saying to you, Shirley, um, keep your mind and your focus on Jesus. Thank you, Pastor Woman. God bless you, daughter. May God keep a wall of fire around you. I receive it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Love you so much. More grace upon your life. I receive it. God bless you. Amen. And so the Lord is saying to you, Shirley, that, that God is with you and there's nothing that you ought need to fear, but this is a time for you to really press into God, to press into God because God wants to do a new work in your life and there's going to be a greater comeback in your life. Um, Shirley, this is for you, daughter, all the way in Mauritius. God bless you in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. If that is confirmation, Shirley, please type in the confirmation. Minister, who's this? Shomain, God bless you, daughter. I hear the end of the Lord saying to you, Ah, I've got you. I have got you. I've got you in the palm of my hands and I'm hiding you under the shadow of my wings. Amen. Thank you, Shirley Paul. For, all right. Bless you, daughter. Thank you. God gets all the glory. I'm hiding you under the shadow of my wings and I've got you. So there's nothing that you ought to be afraid of or be dismayed or despondent or disappointed. God says, I am preparing you for something better, something greater, something higher. You are unique and you are special, you are valuable and you have a mandate in the earth. Praise the Lord. So the Lord is saying to you today, you are mine and I am yours. And my peace I give unto you. Not the peace that the world gives you, but the peace I give to you passes all human understanding. I release God's shalom upon your life now. In Jesus' name, for a complete turnaround. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If that is for you, please type in confirmation. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tamlin Matthew. Tamlin Matthew. I hear the angel of the Lord saying to you that your heart is pure and that you are someone that seeks the Lord. You are someone that spends time with the Lord. You are someone that really, really, really loves the Lord. And you allow God to work on your life and you allow God to work in you and through you. And so the, I see, I see God, God is going to open doors for you. And the doors that God is going to open for you is doors that I see of, of evangelism um, and, and, and missions. Yeah, yeah. I see that. I see that. And, and, and obviously God is going to use you so tremendously to go forth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. To share his love to share his love, to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen, to those that are abandoned, rejected, and feel like there's no hope and there's no way out. God says, I'm going to use you to be a restorer. Listen to me, listen to me, Tamlin Matthew. You are a kingdom restorer. Are you understanding this? This is your for this cause, to restore people mentally emotionally praise God hallelujah to restore them to their total being and restore them back to Jesus I see I see traveling I see traveling I see traveling 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord is saying, I'm with you. Don't be worried where man is trying to oppress you and suppress you because you're a female. The Lord says, I am with you. And the Lord says, I'm going to carry you through. And the Lord says, I'm going to assign people around you that's going to cover you. That's going to cover you. That's going to cover you. Amen. Amen. So blessings to you, uh, uh, Tamlin Matthew. I hope that you can reach out to me at some point, God willing, um, so I can pray for you. Um, but God bless you. That's the word of the Lord, Lord to you, Tamlin uh, Matthew. If that is confirmation to you, please type in the word confirmation. Thank you. I always do this because we 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 must we must see that the Holy Spirit is speaking and not man. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. All right. All right. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, rabba ba 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 shikat. Tamlin Matthew says, just yesterday I was thinking about this. Wow, that is God. That is God. That is God. That is God. He gets all the glory. He gets all the glory. Oh, rabba ba shikat rabba ba 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 sandere breka braso toro brosha. Thank you. Confirmation. God bless you, Tamlin. The Lord is with you. More grace upon your life. More grace upon your life. In Jesus' name. Librando rubro shikatara bando rubro sekitere bre samandro sakatara bashikata. We give you praise. Thank you, Father. I'm unable to see everyone who's on, so. I sincerely apologize for that. Um, it, it could be the network, but um, God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Lord, let your love flood the hearts and the minds of your people. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you for ushering your presence right now into the place where they are right now. Thank you, Father, for making yourself known to them right now. Thank you, Father, that you've come forth with healing in your wings to heal your people right now. Heal your people right now. Healing to their bodies right now in Jesus' name. Every attack on their health and their body, I rebuke every sickness, every disease, every spirit of infirmities are binded in Jesus' name. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I release supernatural healing grace upon you now in Jesus' name. You shall live and not die to declare the works of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Healing. Healing. Healing to your body. Healing. Healing. Healing to your body. Jesus' name. La brasha katara brasiti. Thank you, Father. Giselle, I hear the angel of the Lord saying to you, don't be caught up with what's happening around you. Don't be caught up with what's happening around you. The Lord says to you, my daughter, set your face as a flint on me. Set your face as a flint on me. And trust me through the process. Because you want to do it right. You want to get it right. And you're going to see restoration in your life. And it's going to take a greater measure of you coming out of yourself and embracing the new you in God. It's going to cost you to leave the place of familiarity, the comfort zone, the normality, 
God wants to break that cycle off you now in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus upon your life to break every cycle off your life, every demonic cycle in the name of Jesus and that you will break out and break through and break free and break through, break through in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, that God will restore your life, restore your health, restore your body, restore, restore your finances, restore your family. But the key is for you to remain willingly obedient to the instruction of the Lord upon your life and serve God faithfully. I release God's peace and shalom upon you. In Jesus' name, amen. If that's confirmation to you, Deacon Giselle, God bless you, daughter. Please type in there, confirmation. God bless you. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Give you praise, give you praise, give you praise, give you praise. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Get more into the Father, Giselle. Get more into the Father. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, daughter. Get more into the Father, Giselle. Get more into the Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. More time with the Father. More time with the Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Margaret Gabriel, all the way, I think, from Malaysia. I, I pray the presence of God be released upon you now to bring healing to your body. And I also see to shift the atmosphere in your home and your surroundings, to shift the atmosphere, to shift the atmosphere. Every demonic, every demonic attack I command you now in the name of Jesus to take your leave. And I command right now that we will see the hand of the Lord upon this family in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, I release the shalom of God into Margaret Gabriel's house in Malaysia right now. By the Spirit of God and by the authority of heaven, as your apostle, I release the apostolic grace into our home. I release the apostolic anointing upon our life and our family to destroy every yoke of bondages upon them now. In Jesus' name. I'm believing God for breakthrough for our family, for healing, for restoration and reconciliation. In Jesus' name. Margaret Gabriel, if you believe the word of the Lord, please type in confirmation all the way from Malaysia. Glad to have you on. God bless you. I'm just so excited how God is just bringing people from different countries. This, this is amazing. This is powerful. God gets the glory. And this is all confirmation to pro prophecy that has been spoken into my life many years ago. And even now lately as well. Amen. Thank you, Margaret Gabriel. God gets the glory. God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you and your family. God bless you and your family. God protect you and your family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God gets all the glory. Yeah, yeah. Restoration. Yeah, I did say restoration. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for divine restoration. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. You're most welcome. God gets all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father.
thank you, Father. I'm unable to see who else is on. Um, I'm just seeing those that are on. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Move by your spirit, O oh God. Move by your spirit, O oh God. Move by your spirit, O oh God. The heavens are opened. There's a sound coming from heaven. Lord, elevate our ears. Elevate our ears to hear the Spirit of God, what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Let your presence flow. Let the anointing of God flow from this broadcast where I am to your people right now to destroy every yoke of bondages in their life, their home, their family, their workplace, schooling place, business environment and ministry in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. God bless you, Elise. Bless you, daughter. I smell honey. Wow. 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 Family of God, just drink from the Holy Spirit where you are right now. Just connect, just connect, just connect and drink and drink and drink and drink. Oh, hallelujah. His name is like honey on our lips. The name of Jesus is like honey on our lips. Hallelujah. Taste and see that the Lord Jesus is good. Family of God, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I want to reintroduce you to have a love affair relationship with Jesus wherever you are right now on this platform. All you have to do is say, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today just as I am. I acknowledge I am a sinner and I need a savior and his name is Jesus Christ. I open my heart. I open my life to Jesus. Thank you for loving me just the way I am. I believe, Jesus, that you died on the cross and on the third day you rose again. And I am alive today for such a time as this. I receive the blood of Jesus in my life. I apologize, God, for whoever I failed you in thought, in word, or in deed. I apologize, God, for offending you, displeasing you, disrespecting you in any way, my Father. Thank you that I have an advocate with the Father. His name is Jesus Christ. He is my Redeemer. My Redeemer lives. My Redeemer lives. I have salvation through Jesus. I have redemption. I have atonement. I have justification through Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my life, my mind, my heart, my soul. And I receive life. I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And Holy Spirit, I invite you into my life to lead me, to guide me, to govern me and direct me. Holy Spirit, reveal Jesus to me. I pray for a stronger fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask you, Holy Spirit, to help me. You are my ever-present help in time of need. I choose to partner with the Holy Spirit. And I receive the grace of God. For now there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. I receive the grace of God, the love of Jesus, the forgiveness of sins. I receive the blood of Jesus. I receive Jesus Christ into my life to be my Lord and my personal Savior. And Jehovah Nissi, the banner of the Lord, is lifted over my life. And I submit to the authority of God. And I yield to the Holy Spirit to lead me in my spiritual growth and maturity in my walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, you pray that the Holy Spirit leads you to a good Bible-based church, a Spirit-filled church where you can be discipled and you can grow in the Lord. If you need help, you need help you need accountability pray about it you are welcome to reach out to me just send me an inbox on facebook messenger praise the lord or invite me on facebook praise the lord pray about it amen okay i don't just cut covenant with anyone right i pray about it so we are to help people of god amen we are to help one another all right this is very important god wants us to grow so that we can glow it's time to grow 
altitude low. Somebody put that up for me, please. It's time to grow, to glow. It's time to grow, to glow. It's time to grow, to glow. It's time to grow in the Lord, grow in the word. It's time to grow. It's time to grow. It's time to mature so that we can glow with the glory of God. Amen. With the light of Jesus, the fragrance of Jesus Christ, it's time to glow, to grow. Glow, to grow. Somebody put that up for me. Glow, to grow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shonay King. Shonay King. Shonay King. Shonay King. Shonay King. I hear the angel of the Lord saying, hmm. Yeah, continue to seek my face. Continue to seek my face. I am at work. Trust me that I will do it in my timing. For God to restore. For God to restore your family. For God to restore your family. Even to restore your life. I pray for divine restoration. In the name of Jesus. To your life and to your family. And may you re re reap much more than what you've lost in life. In Jesus' name. This is, this is your season to gain more. To gain more. I release God's peace upon you, Shane. And I pray for God to move supernaturally on your behalf in the midst of every area of your life. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Shanae King. That's, that's for you. If you are in agreement to that and it's confirmation, please put in there confirmation, Shanae. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Um, I think I saw Michaela. Is Michaela on? Michaela, if, you, if you're on, please just, just put in, um, say hi or say I'm here. Um, Michaela, are you still on? I saw you early on. I'm not too sure if you're still on. Uh, I'm not too sure. I can't see everyone. Um, Michaela, just let me know if you're still on, please. Shanae, if you're on, please, please type in there that you're in agreement and you receive confirmation if the word spoken was for you from the Lord. Amen. Amen. And uh, Michaela, please let me know if you're still on. I'm not too sure if you're still on. Um, okay. All right. Okay, I think, I think that, I don't know if they're gone off or I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. All right. Okay, I'm not going to wait any longer. Um, Shone, God bless you. Uh, oh. Michaela's here. God bless you, Michaela. God bless you. God bless you. God wants you to know that his hand is upon your life and that your life is in the palm of his hands. God wants you to know as well that you belong to him. He's your heavenly father. And God wants you to know that you have made the decisive decision to walk with God. Um, and God has opened the door to invite you into this new chapter in your life where you have to put him first in the center of everything concerning your life. And God says, I'm going to hold your hand and I'm going to walk you through the process. And I'm going to do the healing that you need, healing, inner healing. And I'm going to remove uh, the layers, the layers of rejection, the layer of hurt, the layer of pain. 
uh, the layer of, of, of feeling abandoned. Um, God says, I'm going to remove that off you as you open yourself up to me and yield your total being to me and give me your life and give me your heart and allow me to do the work on you, saith the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that you are alive for such a time as this. You you don't think of yourself as a nobody. Don't think of yourself as insignificant. The Lord is saying you are significant. And the Lord is saying that you are mine. You belong to me. Uh, it was it might have been unplanned and, and, and things that you've gone through. But the Lord says that I'm restoring your life. I'm going to restore your life. I'm going to restore your mind, your heart. And I'm going to restore your life. And I'm going to restore your life every area of your life god says i'm going to restore it as you put me in god says continue to yield to me michaela continue to open your heart to me serve me faithfully put me first and let me do the work on you in you through you because there's some mistakes that you have made but it's because of the trauma that you've gone through and the lord is saying you are not alone i am here to help you through the process so that you get your healing get your healing your inner healing and deliverance so that you can acknowledge that you are a somebody, you are a, a, a someone, you are significant because God wants to do great things in your life, hallelujah. And so the Lord is saying, continue to put me first, trust me through the process and also, and also be cautious uh, uh, um, who you surround yourself with as well. And so God wants you all to himself and he's going to lead and guide you and direct you um, on the path of righteousness. Uh, that you need to take and God is going to do the work within you in Jesus name that's for you Michaela if you believe that is the word of the Lord please type in confirmation and I hope to see you again and I hope to speak to you I'm willing to help you through your process I'm willing to help you to get your healing and thank you for being with us about I think two weeks ago you were with us in church God bless you and I look forward to seeing you again and I'll continue to pray for you in the closet God wants you to know his grace is sufficient for you um, in Jesus name all right bless the Lord thank you father thank you father thank you Jesus I give you praise I give you praise I give you praise I give you glory I give you honor amen amen Michaela says thank you Jesus okay God gets all the glory amen amen I release God's peace upon you now and God's healing grace upon you now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Apostle Gregory McCurdy, good to have you all the way from USA, my dear covenant brother. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Love you much. I see one word in the spirit for you. One word in the spirit for you and the ministry. I see overflow overflow God is going to overflow you so that you keep on overflowing <laughs> okay yeah I see overflow and 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 you're gonna overflow that you're gonna keep on overflowing the people that God is sending into your life amen what's inside of you what God has placed inside of you the grace um, the anointing the oil, the oil is going to have a ripple effect on the lives of people. But there was a price to pay for you to carry this oil. And so nobody can just come in and have easy access. All right. But I see the overflow from you. It's going to be overflowing like jaws, jaws, mm. jaws. The people that are coming to you are like jars and you're going to overflow what's inside of you into them. There's going to be an overflow, an overflow, an overflow, an overflow, mm. overflow, overflow, overflow of blessings, overflow of blessings, overflow of jars, overflow of the oil, overflow of the anointing overflow of spiritual sons and daughters overflow 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 in your finances i decree and i declare overflow of god's goodness and mercy to follow you and your immediate family and the ministry all the days of your life 
all the days of your life, all the days of your life, all the days of your life, all the days of your life. There is a stay, there is a people that await you. There is there is there is cities that await you, uh, where you're going to. The oil within you is going to overflow within these jars in the different areas, uh, uh, neighborhoods, and uh, uh, countries, nations. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 um, that's going to birth forth. And you're going to see other ministries being established out of this one stream that's flowing from uh, uh, New Beginnings Ministry. Many streams are going to flow from there. Many streams are going to come out of there. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's an overflow. It's an overflow. As you'll embrace 14 years of anniversary, this is an overflow season. It's an overflow, 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 overflow. Kurabasaye, lebreka brusa, labraka bruka breke breka mandrusha katalabasete. Overflow, 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 overflow. I release this anointing and grace as God's servant to you, to your family to your ministry, to your business. In fact, businesses, businesses. And to Prophet Teresa. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Many streams are flowing from the ministry, overflowing, overflowing overflowing of what y'all are carrying is having a ripple effect on the true sons and daughters and that they are going to walk into their God next because of the grace that's upon y'all's life and so I release the word of the Lord to you Apostle Gregory McCurdy God bless you love you much God bless you your family and the ministry much love from Durban South Africa Bosom Ministries International Headquarters we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. I give you praise. We give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. Thank you, Apostle. Thank you. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. The feeling is mutual. Thank you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Elma Russell. Elma Russell. I pray that God. Mm. Thank you. It feels like everything is shutting down. It feels like everything is closing on you. But I hear the angel of the Lord says that I am with you. And I'm covering you as a rear guard. And God says he's going to bring you out. I want you to know that Jesus, the breaker, has gone before you to break open those doors. Uh, to open those gates as well. I see there has been blockages put in place, especially with contracts. And, and, and I want you to know that God says, I am with you and I'm going to vindicate you. But this is not a time for you to turn to the left nor to the right, but to look within you, to look within you because the greater one and the anointed one resides on the inside of you. He is your ever present help in time of need. He's the one that's going to give you wisdom, godly wisdom and direction and strategy as to what you need to do and how you need to appropriate this, what you going through rightfully within your life within your family within your business this is not a time for you to think the way like the world thinks this is the time for you to think what God thinks this is the time for you to not say what the world is saying but to say what God is saying and you're going to see a supernatural breakthrough that will come forth in the name of Jesus I pray and I decree and I declare a supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus and father I give you praise and I thank you and I thank you for answered prayers. Thank you for this miracle right now. To you, Elmer Russell, in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 
bless the Lord. The Lord bless you all. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and grant you peace and unmerited favor. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Alma Russell, amen, amen, spot on. Thank you, Jesus. God gets all the glory. Amen. Thank you for your feedback. I cancel every dead spirit. I cancel every accident spirit. I cancel every premature death over your life, your family, your partner, your children, your grandchildren. I decree and I declare that you all shall live and not die to declare the works of Jesus Christ. I release the apostolic anointing upon you now to destroy every yoke of bondages now in Jesus' name. And I release apostolic grace upon you that will give you vitality, sap, and momentum for you to run the race with endurance, with patient endurance that is set before you. And you will do it fearlessly, fearlessly, fearlessly. In Jesus' name, I release God's blessing upon you. God will bless you. God will keep you. God will cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. I release the anointing of God. I release the oil from here to your home right now. That God that someone is in this, this, there's someone in need, that God will send people, my God, bring supernatural financial breakthrough and even send people, destiny helpers, to sow into your life and to bring things to your life. Some of you need food stuff, food parcels. I release this anointing right now that God will make provision for you. Your cupboards will be filled in Jesus' name. Your fridge will be filled in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I decree and I declare the word of the Lord to you now. In the name of Jesus, this is for you. This is for you. This is for you. I hear the angel of the Lord saying this. I release it upon you now, upon your home. It might look like there's no way, but God is making a way for you right now where there seems to be no way. I decree it and I declare it upon you now supernatural financial breakthrough to the obediently righteous who have been sowing to the Lord, who have been sowing in obedience in every area of their life. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. Praise God. Come on, people of God. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. May God supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. God is supplying all your needs right now, right now, right now, right now. Every door, every gate that's been shut right now by man is being opened. In Jesus' name. Jesus the breaker is going before you to open the doors and the gates right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. La bro shekitele breka braka sukata. La bra shekitele breka mandrusaya. Le breka mandrusa kata la bra shekete. And know that the grace of God is sufficient for you. There is a testimony that is coming out of your mouth. <laughs> and you're going to make the devil mad. You're going to make the devil and his agents mad. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. And God is going to give you what you rightfully deserve. I hear the angel of the Lord saying this to someone. God says, I need to tell you that he's going to give you what you rightfully deserve.
God is going to give you what you rightfully deserve. And nobody can come against what God has planned and purpose and wants to do in your life. Nobody. No demon, no devil, no witches, no wizards, no warlocks. God says, my spirit is upon you. And my grace is upon you. That is sufficient for you. Amen. Family of God, I release myself from the broadcast. Thank you all for your patience. Thank you all for your obedience. I love you all so much. Um, please come back and watch the, the, the replay of this broadcast. Uh, take your notes down. Get into the word. Get into the word. Get into the word. Get into the word. Come back. Listen to your prophetic words if you have received. Um, sometimes you can be prophesying to one person, but then that prophetic word can also can also resonate within your spirit if you haven't received a prophetic word, or if you have. <laughs> okay, you can also receive it. Amen. By faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So bless your family of God. Love you all so much. Have a blessed evening, a blessed weekend in the Lord. This is Apostle Joseph Osborne. Remember, remember that you were born for such a time as this. Remember, greater things awaits you. Greater things lies ahead of you. Your best is yet to come. Embrace the new you and embrace the new things that God is about to do in your life. Amen. Amen. You position yourself in great expectation to receive from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Love you all so much. God bless you. Good night. Good afternoon to those that are afternoon where they are in different countries. Or good morning. God bless you. Love you all so much. Have a blessed rest. Until we see each other face to face or on this platform or any other platform. Let's remain steadfast in the Lord, immovable in the Lord, and win souls, win souls. Go out and compel people to come to Jesus. Let's carry out our purpose. Let us carry out our for this cause. Let's be intentional about our purpose in Jesus' name. And let's make Jesus proud and be God pleases. Yeah, and obey God and nothing else. Love you all. Shalom. God bless you.